Morning everybody, it's a, another nice early start on the Yorkshire coast today looking for beautiful Jurassic fossils on one of my local beaches. We're currently in a little bit of a heat wave so I've decided to get up at 4am and head down to the beach because I don't really want to be out in the scorching midday sun. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. The cliffs are really crumbly today so I'm gonna stay well away and I'm gonna look where the tide has washed all of the pebbles. So there's a very faint keel protruding out of this rock. So I'm gonna give it a crack open right now. No good, this one's split open right down the middle. So this is a pretty cool pop. There's a tail of a lobster on the inside of it. Hopefully you can make out the detail of that. This tiny little crab here. I thought it was a little bug, but it's a teeny crab. So there's a very promising looking nodule here. It looks like a grey shale one with an ammonite keel poking out. So I'm going to get my chisel right in this little spot here and hopefully it will just pop open. This looks like it's gone very well. You can feel the beautiful Henicostatum ammonite. Just a little bit has come off here. It's still a nice example. So I've just found this cracking looking nodule here, quite a bit of seagull poop on it. But I'd say there's a very good chance that this one could have an ammonite on the inside, a hildy or a dac. But there's only one way to find out, so I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. Well, it's split very easily, which is a good sign. And it was actually a section of phylloceros ammonite quite unusual to get an isolated nodule with some of this in. Pretty cool though. There we go. Lovely pyrotized dactylioceros. So now I'm going to head further around the beach and hopefully find some more ammonite fossils. Let's go. So you can see the cliffs are really crumbly because I've just spotted two fresh out ammonites. We've got this interesting example here. And it looks like it's popped perfectly. Look at that, right down to the very center. Absolutely mint. There's also a really nice nodule here on the floor. Crumbly, crumbly cliffs. Beautiful example there. You really can't moan when you pick examples up like that. You don't even need to hammer them. Absolute beauty. Another really fresh ammonite nodule, fresh out of the cliffs and the sea has not hit it yet. Be a little beauty that one. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a wide range of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens. I've also got unopened ammonite nodules that you can crack open at your own house. There's a lot of other interesting finds all from around the Whitby and Yorkshire coast. Please check out my website if you are interested. Thank you. Could this nodule here contain a nice ammonite fossil or even something else? So we've got a break here 
and it's revealed a lovely keel of a dactyloceros inside this huge nodule here. So it looks like quite a bit more of the cliff has come down onto the beach, probably due to all of the very warm weather we've been having. And I've just spotted a nice bellamite. Nothing super special and it's not something that I'm going to collect, but I do enjoy seeing these on the beach. I spot an ammonite hiding in this little crevice here. Looks like a very nice splitter. It's been wearing out in these rock pools for quite a while. Well, it's absolutely roasting now, so I'm going to head home and then I'm going to show you something very special. So here it is. It's a beautiful section of Ichthyosaurus jawbones or rostrum. The special thing about this particular find is it's absolutely crammed full of these razor sharp teeth. It's actually got teeth on the very front of the piece and it's got a bunch of washed in ones on the back. It's also got a bunch of paddle digits of various sizes and an eye bone from the round slotic ring of the ichthyosaur. This one is not a personal find. It was found at Whitby after a cliff fall, but it's one which I have had in my fossil collection for quite a while now and I've enjoyed it. I will be listing this beautiful and rare fossil onto my website buyafossil.com for purchase with worldwide shipping. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.